so this is um, org mode workflow for bullet journalists or specifically how bullet uh, journaling can translate into um, an org mode emacs org agenda workflow so who is this for so this video is for people curious about emacs and org mode workflows and maybe you've been doing bullet journaling for a really long time uh, and wanted uh, maybe a step up from that. So I just wanted to get some things out of the way. This is how I personally organize my to-dos. The beauty of Emacs is that everyone tweaks their own system to their own benefit and makes it their own. So I've um, known a couple times when I wanted a certain functionality to my workflow and you know I spent an afternoon creating a function and utilizing um, utilizing key bindings for me to be able to access that fun function uh, whenever I want. So let's talk about org mode very quickly. So this is an org file. It's essentially just plain text and it bears a lot of similarity to Markdown in the way that you know, you have you know, your structure. I'm able to do things like italicize. Oops. Okay. Oh, not with this font. Sorry. And bold. I'm able to have tables. And I'm even able to have things like quotes. And some code. Print hello world. So those are just some of the quick, um, quick cool things that uh, you can do with org mode that you really can't do with markdown. But today we're specifically talking about journaling, bullet journaling, and what drew me to org mode. So it's mainly just these two points. The ability to search through different journals. Um, I disliked having to go through three, um, three full notebooks of journals just to be able to find an entry that I was looking for. And because this is plain text, I can really just search through the hundreds of different journal entries that I have to find the right entry. Second is inline images. So I mentioned this is plain text and this is plain text. Um, if I open up a te another text editor to look at this file, emacs.org, it's literally just going to give me the link to this picture, but emacs provides that back end to be able to display um, images. That also goes for LaTeX as well. So I'll just quickly go over my morning routine just so you could see um, what that workflow is like. So the first thing I do in the morning is that I wake up and I take a look at my org agenda. And actually, before I get into what an org agenda is, let me just um, show you really quickly. So these headers, um, yeah, these bullet points act a lot like headers. Um, but another thing that's great about them is that you're able to use them as to do. So I could say, you know, to do um, do this to do do that and I'm able to switch between to do's and uh, different stages so to speak in my workflow so to do's are kind of just general to do's if I want to say that I want to do it today I change it to next you see how it changed to next if it's in progress I change it to prog and you can see it even logs when I change it from prog, uh, from next to prog. And when I'm done, I do a quick binding 
to done. I have other um, other ones like goal, ideas, or idea. And maybe I'd write um, cool idea. And because they still have these header properties, I could like write about my cool idea here, fold it, fold it, fold it. Okay, so now that you know that, you can take a look at what my org agenda looks like. So what org agenda does is that it takes these to do's that we saw earlier and um, it scrapes it and it scrapes all of them together from different org files and organizes it in a pretty neat way. So as you can see, uh, right now, my to do list for today is pretty empty. My event list, um, I do have, you know, some habits I need to finish for today. As you can see, there's actually a habit tracker. You can see I'm more consistent with my morning routine than with my evening routine and night routines. That definitely needs to change. Um, I have next items, reading. And I organized this in the way that I decided to. So um, I'm pretty sure I put progress on top. So I can change the um, actual... Uh, to do keyword and when I refresh it organizes itself to the top so what I do every morning is that I click on daily uh, morning routine and this is just a log of when I did uh, finish my daily routines and I go through this checklist so uh, make my bed you know, I'll do a couple stretches. I'll um, use an app called Forest that's not too important right now. And here's something that's pretty important. Restructure to do's. So this is where I take the chance to go through all of my to do's, all of my goal items, my habits, um, and I restructure them in the way that um, I would need to. So right now we see progress. You saw me putting this in progress. Maybe um, I want to do uh, accomplish this book for today. So I'll also put this in it next, the next items. Quick refresh. And maybe I want to actually prioritize this one more. So I have this one A as A. I might want to deprioritize this as C, and then it also organizes itself. So after that, I review my whole month with calendar. And that's um, binded to a key binding control CC. And here, kind of like org agenda, it scrapes different org files and it shows me my month. And all of these are pretty much tied to, whoops, I accidentally moved to the next month. But I guess you could see what my September is looking like. Yeah, and you'd always take a look at what that day actually is. And because these files are actually linked, uh, yeah, these files are linked um, by the calendar, I'm able to take a look at the actual file. So once I'm done that, what I do is I start my journal for today. So, uh, starting a new journal, it creates a new file that is according to the date and it has date as a header as well as the time of the entry, but I don't want to make an entry, um, a timed entry today. Today I'm going through my morning routine and I have a cap capture template for my morning. And here I have some things I usually fill out looking forward to. I'm looking forward to seeing a friend, or watching a movie, and maybe my day plan might be movie 7 p.m and as you can see a calendar pops up but i i don't need any of these dates i just want to write 7 p.m 
and it attaches the date to it. Movie, um, I don't know, workout, 5 p.m. And if I don't like the time of it, I can change it. I could change different aspects of it, change this to Monday, change the year of it. But I think I'm pretty happy with that. And the terminations is pretty much where I put cheesy, um, cheesy motivational lines just to start the day off, right? Put a funny one right there. And let's take a look at org agenda again. So we see that org agenda updates itself to show movie at 7 p.m., workout at 4 p.m. And, um, and that's how I use, that's how I use org agenda. And so that's pretty much the rest of my morning routine. If I didn't forget anything else, put in journal things I'm looking forward to today. A reminder for um, to finish yesterday's journal. If not done, uh, upload any images to journal, and finally refresh phone Orgsly. So, what Orgsly is is an app, an app that um, that allows me to read my org files and also um, remember remember these. So. What Orgsly allows me to do is to ob um, obtain push notifications at 7 p.m., at 4 p.m. Um, when, yeah, at 7 p.m., at 4 p.m., reminding me, hey, you know, you got to work out right now, or hey, um, it's time to watch the movie. So having that notification is another reason why I really enjoy using org mode over just bullet journaling, where bullet journaling... I always kind of had to remember what events took place when. Um, if I didn't check my journal constantly, I might miss an event. But now um, I get notified when that event comes along. So that is pretty much my whole routine. And just something cool. Uh, you get this just to show you uh, what this looks like when you export it. So you can export it export org files into different formats uh, as you can see you can export a markdown um, different html epubs wiki yeah so, some of these i don't even know but today we're just going to export it to html and you'll be able to see what that looks like as an html file and at the end of 2019, I pretty much just compiled all of my org files and then was able to read through all of my journals in this way. And it looked like this. As you can see, it rendered the table, it rendered, rendered quotes, as well as rendering code. Yeah, that's pretty much the conclusion of my video. Let me know if you have any questions. Shoot me a message, shoot me a comment. And yeah, I'd be happy to answer anything. All right, take it easy.